I've always thought of Clint Eastwood you know, as a bisexual horse. You know, I mean, the guy's a stallion, but he was also a mare. Uh, definitely a ladies' man, but spent an enormous part of his professional career by chaps. Uh, I guess the English equivalent of someone like Eastwood would be Richard Wilson. Mean, moody, mysterious, and uncompromising. Hi, Rich. Richard. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm very well. Can we have a did, brief you, chat? did you ask for an interview? I did, yeah. I don't remember being asked. Uh, BBC. Oh, could I have an interview, please? <laughs> please. I've come a long way. Where do you come from? Just over there in Burger King. Right. You got some friends in the political world? Uh, of course. I'm a bit strapped for cash. There's no way you could get this bill through Parliament for me, well, could you? I mean, on the house. I'll have to read it, it first. Use your contacts. Yeah, I'll, read it, I'll sure. I'll try. It's if, kosher. If, it's if kosher. It's, if it's politically correct, I'll see what I can do for you. Now, answer her. But the one question that you don't like to be asked yeah. is, are you similar to the character of Victor Melger? Now, I completely well, understand that. that. stupid, completely... utterly ridiculous question. Why don't you just quest... talk yeah, and the... get out of my the question that I No, that's enough. That's, enough. that's not my finish, question. Finish. That's not my question. Oh, sorry, it's not. That's the question you hate being asked. Oh, that's right. So what I want to know is, yeah. are you similar to the character of Victor Melton? <laughs> Not at all. No? No, no, it's all done with acting. No, i gotta, I got to run. I don't want to brag, right. but if I die, I'm going to be 14 inches in the grave at least. Oh, all right. Very nice to meet you. See you at last. <laughs> oh, um, of course, um, Richard Wilson is very closely affiliated to the Labour Party. as one of their sort of uh, lobby supporters. Uh, you know, if, if Labour ever get to power, I feel very strongly about this, they got to nationalize Bernie Inns, because I feel it's something we should all have a stake in. And I feel very, very strongly about that. 